Hey guys, today I'm starting another project pen, a project 10 pen. I already have a project 20 pen for skincare plus another project 20 pen for makeup. <laughs> yeah, but I still want to have more products to work on apparently. Well, I have 10 more products that I want to work on, so I'm just going to call it a project 10 pen. So let's see, the first thing that I'm going to be working on Oh, I was going to say it's my first time working on a perfume, but it isn't. This is my second time and I have been thinking about this, but I just decided I'm going to go ahead with it this time round. And this perfume over here is the uh, Jennifer Lopez Still Perfume. Well, what it smells like is just like jasmine green tea. <laughs> I'm putting this into the project pan because this is the oldest perfume I have. How old you ask? This was given to me by my sister, my second sister, and I, when I was very young, I remember her using it. So that is how old this is. But it still smells good and it, surprisingly, compared to all my other not so expensive or expensive perfumes, this is the only one that lasts the longest. I highly enjoy it. I feel that uh, there is more to it than jasmine green tea, but that might just be like the scent that I recognize most or is the strongest or lingers the most. And I really enjoy that. So I'm just going to work on this this year. So that is how it looks like. It has a little ball, quite cute, I guess. And then it magically still stays on even though this packaging is super old. And it has this crystal here or like diamante, which surprisingly is still around. <laughs> I feel like over here, in this little space over here, there used to be something hanging and that probably dropped off. And surprisingly, this is glass but it isn't cracked. I mean, it feels like a very heavy glass so that may be why. And the font is still here. So that is my intro line and I am around like halfway. I have so much to go through and I don't think this is like on the verge of spoiling but I've just decided that I will be packing all my scents and only bringing this one with me for my moving. So hopefully I finish this up in Malaysia and when I move back to Singapore, I won't have to lug this bag because this is really quite heavy. That was the most exciting product for me because it's kind of like the biggest challenge in this project. And now this one is a full size item. It is brand new. I just opened it. And this is from HYGGEE, which is a Korean brand. So I'm not sure how they want to pronounce it. They probably do not pronounce it Huga, they probably pronounce it Haiji. <laughs> and this is the all-in-one mist. I currently have the soap from here inside the project pan for skincare. And I'm going to put this into this project pan because I would like to work on this and have a mist for my makeup setting. Maybe sometimes I'll use this for a little bit of a skincare too. And I've been wanting to try this for a very long time. It's all-in-one because it moisturizes, hydrates, and I'm guessing it does something else, like there's good ingredients in it. See, this is why I need to work on my products because I no longer remember the description of describing it when I first got it. And it is uh, around here, but actually that's like the foam because it just came like that, almost full. I really like the packaging, very Muji-like, and this is how the nozzle looks like. I'm not gonna <laughs> spray it out. It's not my favorite mister ever, but it is fine and good enough for me. So I'm going to be working on a full-size product. Now, something else that I'm pretty excited about too is that I'm going to be working on two cushion foundations. So the first one over here is from this brand, which I have no idea how to pronounce, but I will have everything linked inside the description box below. So you can just click on that and don't even attempt to type it because there's just like such a difficult word <laughs> to type. And this one is just a cushion foundation for... Huh, it's in Korean, so I don't understand it. It's a cushion A+. A+, and there's a H+, I'm pretty sure. But I remember that one is for oily skin and one is for dry skin. So I think this is the one for dry skin. Once I'm done with this, I'm definitely going to start using the other one because this is one of my favorite cushion foundations. And I'm always talking about this on my Instagram, so why not put it into a project pan on my YouTube channel? And I just have mine in the shade C23. I like this so much because it matched me so well. It gave me such good coverage and longevity on my skin. But I'm starting to get paler and paler, so this is starting to not work that well for me. But I'm still going to use it because I'm always jumping between like a 21 and like a 23 in Korean numbers for shades. And I want to use it up before it expires because this comes with SPF 50. So the packaging is very slick, it's all white, just very simple and actually easy to wipe down surprisingly. Oh, this is not the sponge that it comes with. So this one is really sad. They don't come with a refill. Instead, they came with an extra sponge. I would much prefer it coming with a refill. 
instead of an extra pack, but whatever. And I think I already threw away my first pack. I probably have the second pack somewhere. So this is how it looks like. There is still so much product and I do not have to press too hard to get enough product and it's also good coverage which is why I really like it but that also means that I don't need to use too much each time so there's no way I can show you how much it is unless I pluck out the cushion itself which is probably not sanitary I have been consistently using this for a few months now so I'm guessing a few more months and I should be totally done with this because of the shade difference right now so I put in another cushion foundation because this one is actually working a lot better for me now this is in the shade 201, which I'm assuming is 21. When I chose it, this was the darkest shade. Can you believe it? And the reason that I kept it until now is because I highly enjoy the shape of the pack. It is this like teardrop over here and then round on the other side and it's just perfect. This is the best part of the cushion foundation and the coverage is really good. It's not too oily on my skin. But my first impression review about this was not that great because the shade was just ridiculously white. Like it did not match me. However, I'm very white and pale now. So this is the only cushion foundation that works for me because this is the lightest one that I have in my collection. So I'm definitely going to be using this way more than the other cushion foundation. But I want to make sure I'm using both and not letting one expire. This one is the one that has Blackpink Lisa's face slapped onto the campaign and it's just called Moonshot Micro Correct Fit Cushion. I remember I tried their other Moonshot Cushion Foundation before like I want to say two years ago and I really enjoyed it too. So I knew that I would enjoy this. I just wasn't that happy with the shade range. <laughs> so I showed you the pack and I love it so much. And this one is actually still working well although I just dropped it yesterday. This entire part came out and then I just shoved it back in and this entire cushion came out and I just shoved it back in too and I used it this morning and it was still fine. But I don't know if the fall perhaps did something to it. Hygiene wise, I'm not too sure. It flew out and then I just shoved it back in. So I'm just going to keep using it because my skin is not freaking out. And when it came out, I saw that there was still a lot of product inside. So this is going to last me for a long time. This is definitely going to last me longer than the other cushion foundation, which I've used way more often. Alright, next up, let's look at this one, which is almost brand new, almost full to the brim. This is from April Skin. I have been using this so much, but the level is not coming down. I mean, I can see it. So I guess it's really good value for money. This is the fixing shield and it's for your eyes. So it's like a fixing eye shield. What I do is I use it on my mascara, eyeliner. They say you can use it on your eyeshadow too, which I never did. But in order to use it up because it's inside a project pen, this time around, I will start using it on my eyeshadow. So instead of spraying a makeup setting mist all over your face, this is targeted for your eyes area. And you can see that is the level that I'm beginning, almost full. I really like the packaging and I'm already all done with the one for lips, I think. Either that or I declutter it, but this one is the one for the eyes that I still have. And I much prefer this eyes one over the lips. So this is the applicator and you simply just brush it on. You really don't use too much each time and I find it very weird because I highly recommended this on my Instagram and then I just slowly started to not use it as much anymore. So now I definitely want to go back to it and start using it more. I have forgotten this in my collection and I want to use it before it expires because I've had this for a really long time. Ooh, another new product. I just took it out of the drawer. It's brand new. Let's see if it comes with a sale. It comes with a sale. That's how brand new it is. So the intro is a brand new tube and that is how we're starting. And this is Bona Bella Healthy Beauty. It's called the Rose Water Tone Up Cream. So it does whitening and wrinkle care and this is 40 grams. In conjunction with my skincare project pen, I'm going to be using this product too. Next up, more makeup product and this one is again for the eyes. And this one I had it in my project pen last year. I didn't put it into the project pen for makeup this year but after thinking about it, I decided I should put it into this project pen and work on it. This is from Rimmel and it's the Magnify Eyes Eye Primer. It says that it is for... Well, I'm trying to read because half of the words are gone. Something shadow, crease, smudge and transfer proof. When I first got it, I really enjoyed it. It really was crease, smudge and transfer proof. I think maybe because it's getting old, although it says good for 24 months. And even the tube looks very old and gross. <laughs> But the formula has always been really dry, so it's not like it is getting old. It still smells fine the way it did, and this is how it looks like. 
I like that it comes with a wand and then I can just apply it onto my eyelids. But I need to go in with my eye... I was going to say eye pencil. No, I need to go in with my little finger to blend it out because of how drying it is. I find that the longevity is getting lesser and lesser. My eyeliner and mascara is starting to smudge earlier now. So I'm guessing this is almost on its way out and I want to use it up before then. Next up, another product that I had in the Makeup Project Pen last year and I never put it into the Project Pen this year but decided I should just work on it and get it out of my collection, right? <laughs> this one is from LA Girl and it's the Pro Conceal and I just bought mine in the shade Light Ivory. I had a tiny little pen, see-through little circle of window here before but whenever I use it, I'm pushing it up so my window is gone. <laughs> but I'm still very thin here and most of the product is only around here and I had this for a while so I want to use it up quickly because it's only good for 18 months. So that is my intro line. Um, it takes a long while to squeeze it out. I have been using this since last year and it's still not done so hopefully it will be done this year. Alright, so second last item is also a makeup product. <laughs> this was also in the project pen last year. I already have another mascara from Rimmel inside my project pen this year. But I want to work on this one too because this has been open longer than the Rimmel one but barely used because I don't really like it that much. And this one is from APU. It's my little mascara. I bought the high curling one. It's a small little tube. It's good for six months only. Oof, I'm gonna be completely disgustingly honest here. I had it for one year. But I barely use it, so I think it's still good. It still smells good. It's still super wet and fresh. And I used it this morning and I figured out that the only way that I'm going to be able to use this is that the same way I apply my Rimmel Mascara, only on this part of my eyelashes, the inner part, and only like maximum two coats. If not, it will transfer all over my under, eye, under eyelids. Lower eyelids, like eye bags area. <laughs> so I'm gonna use it that way and I used it today. So far I'm not smudging because I did that and I really enjoy it now. I really really enjoyed this last time because of the brush. It just separates my lashes very well. They should honestly just don't call it high curling because that's not true. However, they should call it clump free. I really like the brush for that. And I think I found a way to make it work, so in the project pen it goes. Now the last item over here, this is a little bit strange because this one is from the Westin Hotel and we got this uh, when we went to Melbourne so a few months back and we are only halfway through and it's not just me, my husband uses it too so at night I'll apply it onto his wrist and make him like rub his wrist together and then for me I'm a little bit more liberal because I really want to use it up I will apply it on my wrist and also over here so this product here is called the Lavender Balm it's supposed to help you sleep well so it's just like a balm essential oil product like a little roller ball basically it's only 3ml and it just came complimentary with the hotel room so you just roll it on like that and I was really surprised when my husband saw this in a hotel room and wanted to use it because this is simply a Westin hotel one. I'm not saying that that isn't an expensive hotel but I've got really good ones that look fantastic gave me last time. Like REN, R-E-N, that crazy expensive brand Sephora and I have a spray mist which does the same thing, has all this lavender and helping you sleep kind of function but he never was interested in them until he saw this one. So I'm going to put it into a project pen because while his interest is still there, I'm going to try and use this up with him. And that is my little beginning line. So that is all. All 10 products which I'm adding to the 40 that I'm currently working on. <laughs> if you're working on any project pens, crazy amounts or even just like 5 project 5 pen, definitely let me know in the comment section. And I hope this video was maybe helpful to you and useful. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!